Okay, good afternoon once again, everybody. My name is Michelle Grand. I'm a licensed massage therapist at Smilo Cancer Hospital. And I'm so pleased to be able to join with you today in some guided meditation and self-massage. Uh, today, we're gonna to talk just a little bit about, about compassion. Our meditation is gonna be compassion for ourselves and for others. Um, Sometimes we, there's a lot of heaviness around us, but we always have the option um, to offer some light and just remembering certain thoughts and this meditation that we're about to begin um, should be helpful for all of us. So please just take a moment in your seat to connect to the ground. Through the soles of your feet or your sits bones or whatever is touching down, just notice the connection to the ground. And then with a long, slow breath in through the nose, lengthen the spine, and an equally long breath out, ground it again. As you sit here watching breath, Intentionally draw a slight smile to the lips and allow the body to bask in a sensation of happiness. Feel into that sensation as if you already have every happiness in the world and every cause of future happiness right here right now, content, knowing you have everything you need. And then with the felt sensation of how this happiness feels in your body, imagine sending that same sensation to either one single particular being or all living beings in the world. And then imagine this one in particular or everyone feeling that same full-bodied happiness and contentment that you feel right now. And from this sensation of happiness, allow yourself to feel as though you're also free from every pain and suffering and all causes of future pain and suffering. Still breathing into that slight seen or unseen smile, you are completely free from pain and suffering. With your whole body, drop into the sensation of how good this freedom feels as you wish the same for just one particular being or all beings everywhere. May all beings everywhere be free from pain and suffering at all causes of future pain and suffering. As you send out this wish, feel the energy of that wish fulfilled coming back to you as your happiness and your sending of happiness to others causes the happiness of others to return back to you. Seeing all other beings happy and free from pain, thanks to your wish, brings you joy. Locate this joy in your body and rest in awareness of this joy. May they feel the joy of a full body connection to happiness, fully absent of any pain or suffering. And allow yourself to imagine a world where every being was connected to joy. And because of this connection, not a single being would ever hurt another. And recognize that this world began with you with your willingness to connect to the joy within you and share it with others. 
And so may you always be willing to share joy and may you share it freely to all beings equally, whoever they may be. Imagine for a moment what it would be like to live in a world where everyone freely and equally shared joy. Now, intentionally send out that wish. May they feel the joy of a full body connection to happiness, fully absent of any pain or suffering. And allow yourself to imagine a world where every being was connected to joy. And because of this connection, not a single being would ever hurt another. And recognize that this world began with you, with your willingness to connect to the joy within you and to share it with others. And so may you always be willing to share joy and may you share it freely to all beings equally, whoever they may be. Imagining for a moment what it would be like to live in a world where everyone freely and equally shared joy. Intentionally send out that wish. And when you're ready, take a deep breath in, stretch out your arms, let the breath out, and stretch from left to right as far as you can. Another breath in, arms overhead, and exhale into prayer pose. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And again, I thank you for taking that time to send out your compassion and your wish for ease and peace to all others equally. And it does, it begins with us. It begins with one. And we're all just one. And it only takes one to begin to spread out the light and the joy and the wish for peace for everyone. So following um, our meditation now, we're going to get into our, a little bit of our self-massage. And today, um, we're just going to take a moment and we're going to talk a little bit about the benefits of self-massage. Um, we all may be aware of that, but it's, it's just good to have those reminders of what, what it's doing in a positive way for our bodies. So the self-massage increases circulation um, all throughout, and particularly to the nerve endings. It can help tone our muscles and our whole physiology, calming the nerves, lubricating the joints. It increases our mental alertness. Sometimes it can help with softer, smoother skin just from the increased circulation and oxygenation of the blood. Uh, it gives us sometimes a little extra stamina throughout the day and absolutely better and deeper sleep at night. So these are all wonderful ways to um, just give ourselves some good health by taking a little time each day to just work with our, our um, soft tissue. I just wanted to touch also on um, three, times, three types of conditions that self-massage does treat. Um, trigger points, connective tissue, and fascia. And you may have heard of all of those, but just a brief description of them. Trigger points are the muscle knots. They're sensitive spots in the soft tissue. And basically, it's just a tight, contracted, hyper, hyper, hyper tense muscle. And it's a, a small part of the muscle. Uh, it's not a whole muscle spasm like a Charlie horse, horse would be, but it's an area of the muscle that gets really tight. And the blood flow um, sort of gets choked off on there and it gets irritated even more. So when we massage those trigger points, it increases the circulation and the oxygenation and it allows the muscle fibers to soften and relax and hopefully to reduce the pain. Now, connective tissue is fibrous tissue that varies in their density. And the connective tissue includes bone, ligaments, 
tendons, cartilage, and adipose or fat tissue. And when we massage, we absolutely work on the, lig the ligaments and the tendons. So it definitely helps. That's where we get the lubrication of the joints and the easing of the pain. And then lastly, the fascia. Fascia is a band or sheet of connected tissue. It's primarily collagen and it's beneath the skin and it attaches, stabilizes, encloses, and separates muscles and other internal organs. And an example of a big um, piece of fascia is our IT band. The IT band runs from the top of the hip. It runs here from the top of the hip down the side of the leg and it crosses over the knee. And sometimes that gets very painful and irritated. And that's helped very, very much by um, self-massage either with the hands or with a foam roller can help with that. So what we could do for a minute is just kind of find areas where we may have some trigger points, um, some connective tissue issues and some, some fascia irritation. And everyone's just gonna be a little different, but I'm just gonna touch on some com common points. So a common point for trigger, a trigger point would be in the jaw. Um, many of us, we, we clench our teeth, we try to stay calm on the outside, but on the inside we're not so calm. So we um, often will feel it here um, in our jaw. So we, you, can try and, you can try and see if you have a trigger point right here, where the jaw is at the base of the earlobe on both sides. You may feel like a little, a little knot right in there. And it's not the whole muscle, the whole muscle runs down the whole length of the bottom jaw, but that trigger point could be like right here. And see if you could just feel a little knot in there. And we'll just take and do circular, circular motions around that trigger point. Just little circular motions. And the goal of of the trigger point massage would again to be increased circulation and to reduce pain. So we'll just spend a little time. And the trigger points, like I say, they're all throughout your body. You know, you may have one in your shoulder, you may have one in your low back, um, and wherever you find them on yourself, or you can have somebody, you know, find that trigger point for you if you can't reach it and just do some, some massage on there to release. Now, connective tissue, where we may find that again, would be a ligament is where a bone connects to a bone, and the tendon is where the muscle connects to the bone. So you would often find those at the joints, uh, wrists, knees, ankles. So you could pick whichever area, you know, you may have a little irritation or pain or dysfunction, and just know that you can massage the connective tissue there. And again, the goal is to increase circulation and to relieve some of the pain. So you could choose whichever joint you may find would benefit most from massage. Again, we're just spending a little time on it today and the time that we have together, but this is something that you could do anytime throughout the day. When you have pain, discomfort, just know that you can offer this to yourself. And finally, fascia. Like I said, that IT band, that's a big, big area of discomfort. The, five, the IT band, again, runs from the top of the hip, down the side of the thigh, and across the knee. Now, for the fascia, that's a big sheath and broad strokes, broad, long strokes. Broad, long strokes are useful here, using the whole hand just to break it up. You can really press into it. The, the pressure you give to yourself is not gonna be too deep because you don't, we don't have enough force to press in too hard. If somebody else were massaging that for you, they could get in there super deep and it could be a little painful. Um, but on yourself, just use that whole hand and just go around and you could do that on both sides around this way and just kind of get that blood flowing and get the circulation going down and around. Okay, excellent. Very, very good. So um, I hope that was helpful in just knowing how you can provide to yourself self-massage um, and touch on those trigger points, get into the connective tissue and the fascia to give yourself some pain relief get the blood flowing and help with um, 
deeper sleep and, and, a, and a sense of calm. Okay, so again, thank you everybody for joining. We're gonna end with our Kundalini Yoga verse. When we say, may the long time sun shine upon you and all love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on, guide your way on. Thank you all so much. And I will see you again if you can log on um, Monday at 1030 for another session. Okay, be well.